You can animate just about any property in Unity without writing a single line of code using animation window. In addition to modifying movement, you can even drive parameters defined in your custom scripts. Open the window menu, go to animation and select animation or the shortcut key command 6. Docking the window at the bottom. These are the list of all the animations of this character. You can open the list by clicking this drop down and select any animation. At the bottom you can shift to drop sheet or to the curves. We can click this play button to play the animation. Changing the animation to jump. Switching to drop sheet. And these are all the animation points. And these are the different character components values that are changing with the animations. Select your character and go to animator. Double click on assign controller. We have free animations. And let me focus on this controller visuals. The animator controller links the animation clips in a visual graphs. Once you have several animation clips for your game object, the animator controller act as a state machine to create a flowchart like a graph between them. This allows the artist to produce sophisticated animations with greater independence from the programmers. If you are using a 2D or 3D rig, you can animate its body parts with different logic. Take advantage of layering and masking features for greater control. Prototype your motion in a visual programming tool to fine tune any transition or interaction between your clips. If you are working with characters, make sure your animation rig type is a humanoid. Select your 3D model and go to Rig. In the animation type, you have four options. Make sure you have selected a humanoid for the character animations. And these four tabs are for your model different settings. We have model, rigged, animation and materials. By clicking on this arrow, you can further open your 3D model. And it have a basic rig skin mesh render and the mesh and from the mesh part you can see the number of vertices and indices of the 3d model that was a quick overview of built-in animation and controllers and if you want to try and extend the more of the animation side then you can try do twin it's an amazing asset for the animations and it's free to download and use you will not find it directly in the package manager open the unity asset store from the web and add this package to your account and then in the package manager go to my assets and there you will find this package as it's not provided by unity so it's not in the package manager by default and few more optimization tips extend this further using the animation rigging package this package provides a library of rig and inverse kinematic constraints that can create a procedural motion animated skeleton can thus interact with the environment with the runtime rigging or physics based constraints can add dynamic secondary motion and you know that the constraints can modify your animations at runtime now as we know the animator controller offer convenience but be aware of few things that avoid overusing animators particularly in the conjunction with the ui elements animator cause the ui canvas to rebuild each frame even if no animation is playing whenever possible use the legacy animation component for the ui or simple animations also consider creating a tween functions or using a third party library that I have shown you the do tween. And one more thing by default Unity imports animated models with a generic rig. But developer often switch to the humanoid rig when animating a character. Just keep in mind a humanoid rig calculates inverse kinematics and animations retargeting each frame even when not in use. If you don't need these specific features save on the CPU time and use the generic rig. As we are talking about the animation, further you can also explore the topics, animation clips and animation controllers from the Unity documentation for more detailed use. I hope this video helps you. If you have any question, you can always ask me. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next.